the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 77, Joshua 20-22 Cities of Refugee, Towers of Levite 48 cities, including cities of refugee, were given to the Levites who were to serve God, and the eastern tribes of the Jordan returned to their well-earned inheritance. First point, the five years of war led by Joshua was finalized in three ways. Joshua took over the leadership of Moses, and then for five years, he did his absolute best to conquer Canaan. At last, the land of Canaan had been conquered and the land distribution had been finalized. Now, he had three steps left to make the final arrangements. The first was to set up the three cities of refugee west to the Jordan River. Moses had previously set up three cities of refugee east to the Jordan River. And so, when Joshua was done, the six cities of refugee could be completed for the Israel nation. The second was for Joshua to set up 48 boroughs for the Levites. The third was to bless the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and make them return to their land. Second point, the person fleeing to the city of refuge had to receive two trials. The city of refuge was a place which aimed at maintaining the community of Israel in a peaceful and healthy way. The city of refuge was set up to show how a life was holy in a kingdom of priests. Another important reason for the city of refuge is its connection to Jesus later on. The people who were permitted to use the six cities of refugee, three in the east and three in the west to the Jordan River, were the people of Israel and all the people who lived there, including foreigners. The people who wanted to use the city of refugee had to receive two trials. The first trial had to take place outside the city of refuge by the elders of Israel. The second trial had to take place in front of the people. The person who was permitted access into the city of refuge had to stay there until the current high priest had died. If the person decided to leave before the high priest had died, then they were completely responsible for their lives if someone came to attack them. The reason God gave the city of refuge was because he valued and still values human life. Third point, a kingdom of priests was learned by one central holy place and 48 boroughs. After entering Canaan, Joshua settled everyone in. He made sure that there was a system whereby the people kept the five offerings and the three annual festivals and that they also knew about the additional 48 boroughs and the six cities of refuge. These boroughs were to be used as schools for a kingdom of priests. The tribe of Levi were to live as priests whilst being dispersed between the other tribes. Thus, the tribe of Levi were given the six cities of refuge included in the 48 boroughs as their enterprise. They became in charge of operating all of the systems for a kingdom of priests. Fourth point, Joshua proclaimed that the two tribes who had made a promise to Moses five years ago 
had kept their word. The promise that the tribe of Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh made to Moses on the east side of the Jordan River can be seen in Numbers 32, verses 17 to 19. They kept their promise for five years, and now Joshua proclaimed in front of the people that they had kept their word. After this proclamation, Joshua blessed them to return to their land. Joshua emphasized to them that they were to love God and to keep all his commands in their new lives. Fifth point, the Mana generation was very sophisticated about clearing up a misunderstanding. The tribe of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh said their goodbyes and headed towards their homes. However, on their way, they built an imposing altar there by the Jordan. Because of this, Phineas, son of Eliezer, had to go all the way there to check on the situation. So the Israelites sent Phineas, son of Eliezer, the priest, to the land of Gilead, to Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. With him, they sent ten of the chief men, one from each of the tribes of Israel, each the head of a family division among the Israelite clans. There, Phineas asked them how they could turn away from God and built themselves an altar in rebellion against him and whether the sin of Peor was not enough for them. To this, the tribe of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh explained that this was a misunderstanding. They explained that they built an altar for fear that someday their descendants might say that there is boundary between them. The people living east to the Jordan feared that they might be cast out as outcasts from the others. After this, the misunderstanding was cleared, and it all ended peacefully. We can see that the Mana generation was very sophisticated about clearing up a misunderstanding. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.